What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School. Today we're gonna to be talking about some of the footwear options that you have available um, and what I have and why I have it. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, we're going to be talking about some of the footwear options out there. Um, this isn't just what I have. Uh, this is mainly what I wear and use consistently now just because of how comfortable it is. Um, some of y'all might hate me out there. I don't know what your feelings are. Everybody just got mixed feelings about all kind of stuff in this industry from guns to boots to pants to all this. Um, what I have right here is the 511 AT series. Um, no, 511 did not send me any of this stuff. I went and purchased these myself um, after using some other boots and uh, shoes as well too, not just the boots, but these are very comfortable. I've been highly impressed. If you can't look and tell, these are the main ones that I've been wearing here lately. Um, I do wear the eight inch some. I've got the trainers here um, for tr essentially training and kind of, I guess you could say, like an everyday wear too. Uh, sometimes I'll wear these. It just depends on what I'm wearing and what I'm doing. Uh, but what we have here is their AT series. So you've got the eight inch, you've got the mid boot, and then you've got what they call the trainer. So again, 511 did not send me these. I went and bought these myself. Uh, because I was looking for some comfortable shoes. I've got some of their pants. Uh, we'll be talking about those in a later video, but hey, 511, holler at me if uh, maybe we want to do something else. You got something, other shoes or something you want me to uh, review? I'm just kidding. Just throwing it out there though. Um, yeah, these are very comfortable. All right, they're set up with what's called their Atlas, which is all-terrain load assistance system. Uh, pretty much meaning if you're something where to me I'm on my feet a good bit I teach so I'm on my feet a good bit I was on my feet pretty much just about all day Saturday uh, with a permit class I had these on very comfortable uh, where some of the others sometimes later in the day uh, they would get a little uncomfortable uh, lower back would kind of start hurting some but they have their all of these have their echo foam high rebound and their force foam impact cushioning. So they're water resistant, they're slip, oil resistant. I mean, it's everything you need. And to me, what I would say a work boot or a tactical boot or some type of trainer shoe, uh, especially if you're maybe looking all terrain, running trails, hiking, things like that. I think these are gonna be some really, really good options for you. Like I said, the mid boots, the main one that I wear. Uh, the one thing I did with the eight inch here is I did go and swap out the laces. Uh, that was just me. Um, sorry, 511, that's one thing. I wasn't a fan of the laces that were in here. Uh, so I swapped them out for some different laces. They still do just fine with the laces that I have in here. I pretty much swapped them with another pair of boots that I had. Like I said, I've tried some different boots. I've tried proper. Um, they were good. They were. It wasn't that they were uncomfortable, but they started getting there the longer I was on my feet where these have not. Um, so with the proper, I did swap out the little insole with a little more cushioning, so that did help out as far as length of time. But still, these, I haven't had to do anything to them. These have been absolutely awesome. Uh, the, I will say the downside here on the trainers is they don't have any wide uh, where you can get regular or wide in the 8 inch or the mid boot. The trainers you cannot so I kind of had to go up in size a little bit there. But still they fit, they're comfortable. I've been thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with them. The soles as far as the slip and oil resistant have been great because some places I've gone where 
the boots or the shoes that I was wearing it got a little slippery I have not had these issues because I've gone to those same places so they've got a good product um, price point on it uh, they range anywhere I think from 150 down to 60 I'll have the website down honestly I'll have links for the trainers the mid boot and the 8 inch I'll go ahead and link them in separately so you can look at that sizes and colors they've got various colors for the trainers various colors for the mid boot and I want to say three colors with the 8 inch and it was ranger green coyote black but there, I will say there's more color options with the trainer and the mid boot than there is with the 8 inch so it just depends on what you're looking for but again these have been absolutely phenomenal they've been very comfortable easy to, easy on easy off uh, the one other thing about the 8 inch since we're talking about on and off you can get the 8 inch with the zipper I got the non zipper I just I don't know I've never been a fan of the zipper thing but I know there's some like your uh, EMS and stuff firemen they like to have the zipper so there are zipper options in the 8 inch as well too but again I'll have links below please go check these out this is not anything where I've been paid or given these this was done under my hard earned money so go check them out they're very comfortable I think you'll be thoroughly impressed with it I'll have links again below if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me and always remember folks if you're not shooting you're reloading if you're not reloading you're fighting if you're not fighting you're dead train to live see you on the range